time is it? It's one o'clock. Today, um, I'm going to do my signature hairstyle how-to video. So, basically that what it is. It's just a bun with a scrunchie, and then in the back it's like half up, half down, if that makes sense. So, basically I just made up this whole hairstyle today. And so, this is like really new. I might have to update it sometimes. So, if you want to look like me, because I'm planning to run separate because I love it so, so, so much. If you're planning to do my hairstyle, then here you go. Uh, this is a how-to video. Okay, so what we're gonna need is you're gonna need a hair donut. I think I got this at the dollar store, but we have two. Um, so yeah, so then you're going to need a brush, just a normal brush. I have a wet brush right here. Yeah, and then, and then you need those, like one of those, this is optional, but for better results, you're, you'll need this like, it's not like a normal brush, it's like really prickly, and like it kind of just smooths out your hair. Like, it kind of does a top coat, but, like, up here, if you want to do this. Like, look at that. It's like, I had this in for a while, so. So, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta take this out, obviously. So. Oh, wait, and you need a hair tie. I forgot to tell you that. And maybe, too, if you have really thick hair. But I have super thin hair, if you didn't know, and it's super annoying. You definitely want, like, you can still do this if you have super thin hair, too, because I have, like, the thinnest hair in the entire world. So you can, it's easier to do if you have thick hair, but you know, you can still do thin hair too. Like, like, ba 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 boom, pony. Oh, I just did it. How did I do it? Well, usually I'm not just so, uh, like, I can't just like go like, boom, and then like a, po a big, a high ponytail, like this. This is how it always comes out, just like this. So annoying, because I don't have thick hair at all. So the first thing I want to do, Okay, so let's actually get started into it. The first thing you want to do is you already had your hair up. Here's a trick if you don't know this. Put your hair down and then scrape it. Or like scratch it all over, you know? And then back up. So then it looks kind of better. So then I just divide it into two parts and you can part your hair wherever you want to. It doesn't really matter because it's like a high ponytail kind of thing. So then brush it out till it's nice and silky and soft. Time lapse. Okay, so once you got it, once you think I got all combed out, go underneath. Because usually you think you got like the top layer, if you don't know this, but usually you think you're like, oh, I got the top part out now. I can do this side. No. No. You have to go underneath. Like, you always have to do that. Because, like, look, my hair is really nice in the front. But in the back, uh, 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 uh. Comment down below if the comps aren't disabled. If you have thick or thin hair, because I have, as I already said, the thinnest hair in the world. So, you know, so I think I pretty much have this side brushed out. And you, like when you start pulling out hair, if you can see that, I pulled out some hair with my fingers. You're not supposed to do that. If hair does come out, it should, it should just slide right out, like, there's a little rip in my hair. And then I had to like kind of take it out. Okay, well, okay. So then you're not done yet. So now you gotta pop it back. And then you have to do the back. Basically just, so yeah, uh, yeah. So now what you do is you gotta, you guys know how to do a half a cup down and First, just like use your thumbs and get it up and separate your hair from the bottom of your hair. So it kind of looks like this. So it's kind of like a half ponytail and you have a whole bunch of hair under here still. If that makes sense. So now it does not have to look really good now. So now you just have to try to get it really high so that everyone can see the bun. So, yeah. so now up here, my hair is getting really knotty, but it's okay. Because we have the wet brush. Get it today at stores. Not sponsored. Nothing here in this video was sponsored. Which is really sucks. I want to get sponsored. Right. And that this is the hardest part in my opinion. So you throw this down and you're good to go. And and always your hand always gets tired. Your mind does. So I just usually just put it down on my knee for a second and then zip it up. And it's all good. So yeah, uh time lapse of me trying to get my hair up in a half a cup down. It'll take a while, but Oh, and if you have thin hair, 
make sure to have as much hair like don't like have like this much uh, uh, hair left in the bottom part for thickies you definitely i'm gonna call you thick thickies have thick hair and thinnies if you have thin hair so for thickies you can just do a normal amount of what you usually do for half a half down and you can do two elastics but for thinnies you want as much hair as possible but still to make the bottom part of your half a half down look good um and so if you have okay so i think this is just about good just to make it even more smoother this is the time to use this and you do not need this but i recommend it because it's so much more easier your hair feels so much more better yeah so okay so there we go so now i got my hair done that i think is the hardest part now the elastic sometimes it can go completely wrong. like one time like earlier today, I tried it, and like the elastic of like caught my hair like you gotta smooth it out with your hand a little bit, and then keep going with the elastic. Okay, I think I did it. For thickies, make sure you do two elastics if you have super thick hair. If you have just normal thick hair, then it's okay. But super thick hair, probably wanna do two elastics. So now I only gotta do. I'm going to use a big donut for this demonstration. Okay, then you pull a donut all around. Just like that. Okay, and now you're finished. No sight, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so now what you're going to do, take your hair, and then try to spread it all around your butt fountain of it overlapping if that makes sense like a fountain overlapping your um half up half down so time lapse and then if if you want to make sure it's good then always like press down like this so that you know what it's like okay i think i got it and if you don't then you can just take out the next step and then just redo it if you don't think you got it which happens to me all the time but then it turns out good okay so now i got everything lined out i think so i'm gonna take this crunchy this is a very very hard part no it isn't actually hard but you gotta be very fragile so put it right over your head over your bun and then drop it okay and then take your hair put it back back your head move it forward if you have to and yeah so here you go this is the Avery bun. I was wondering why I call it the Avery bun. So, yeah. Boom. Okay, so here's just like a full thing of it. Yes. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Um, hopefully you guys got that. Um, so if you like this. And if the comments aren't disabled, please say I like this if the comments are disabled. Or if I don't like this if the comments are not disabled. Because then, tell me why you don't like it. Then I can upgrade it to make it your style. This I got from my friend Milena. She's had a lot of shout outs. My last, maybe like a year ago, I'm sure. So this is one. So like normal scrunchies, you know. And this used to be Grace's, but then I stole it. <laughs> so yeah, and then this one which i got from my friend tessa so that's what you do for those and my mom got these from the dollar tree the dollar tree i did it on my mom and i was like showing it to her and i was like okay so these two work as you can see in these pictures but these two don't so yeah so Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you. So here's a picture of what these will. Of what these will and they should look like. Yay! I got a bobby pin. So you can use more than one bobby pin for this one, but you don't have to. So for this one, you just need the same thing for like when you put your hair up. Uh, you don't need an elastic for 
this hairstyle, but it's easier if you use an elastic, but it doesn't really matter. So what you gotta do is you gotta take your half up half down, and this will be crazy if you don't know this trick, but how to make a bun is you literally just twist your hair so you can't twist it no more. So time lapse for that. I got it. That's a really quick time lapse, but I think I got it. So this, your hair will automatically want to turn around and around and around and around. So then, you have this hair, and then it kind of pokes over here. So then you take the end and this, and you take the bobby pin, stick it in there, and then stick it into your hair, but not literally. And then, and it's okay if it doesn't look really good, because you're going to have the scrunchie to... Um, like kind of like hide it up and no one will like if you're out in public no one will like come up to your hair and be like Wow, you have a bob you can stick out. No one will do that Because if you're scared to do that stop being scared be yourself who cares what they think you are you Be awesome and be positive If you're not positive then you have a sad life So what you gotta do for this is you just gotta put it on like that Just like that and then if you want another one too, you can do that too, but I guess I'll do that too. But yeah, so here it is. I can just do one too, but who cares? Do whatever you want, be you. So yeah, let's say hooray. Thank you. Okay, so I have a shout out, guys. Like never in the ever of ever of history, I have a shout out crazy so the shout out goes to emma fields yay she said this channel is amazing btw i like this video so thank you emma fields you are the best here is your shout out girl um so yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the notification down below. Be part of the notification squad. And make sure to like and subscribe and share with, let's see. Share with your bestest of all bestest friends. And your oldest sibling. And if you don't have an oldest sibling, share it with your dad. And if you don't have a dad, then share it with your grandpa probably have one of those so share it with two people so yes i'm happy for this video thank you guys so much for watching i just did that so yeah so be awesome and be positive peace